Hey everyone, how's it going? Mitch here with another main stage tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about how to add those synthesizers, those pianos, um, anything you want, just like in Logic, um, into main stage here so that we can edit it and um, play with it in real time like a live setting. Okay, so what first we have to realize is on our left is our patch list bar and then on our right is our channel strips okay so first we want to create a new patch so we are able to click this plus button and create a new untitled patch and in our right is our channel strip of our new patch and what you can see is that we have a reverb auxiliary track a delay track and then an output and master all auxiliary tracks are going to be the same between any single or every single patch in a concert is going to be the same um, auxiliary track. So as you can see, if I go back to the suitcase, which is an electric piano, we can see that the reverb and delay auxiliary tracks are still there. All right. So let us add a new software instrument by again clicking that plus button in the top right or upper right hand corner topper. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we can see down here that Logic has a lot of pre-built um, synthesizers, keyboards, um, guitars, drums, whatever we really want inside of um, this library. That's all, all fun and good, and we can definitely click and select any of these. But what if you wanted to create your own synth? All right. So just like in Logic, we have the in and out down here, and we can select our in to be any of these plugins that we have. Most of these plugins um, you will recognize if you used Logic because most of them come from Logic. So um, just like in Logic, we can select any of our plugins and then come in here and edit it just like inside of Logic. We can select any of the um, pre-created ones or we can go in and edit it just how we want and that's basically it all you have to do is select um, your in um, your input what you want what uh, plugin you want or if not you can come up here and select um, your channel strip settings button and you have that whole library of preloaded um, synths and different things you can use so everyone, thanks for watching. If you would like to learn how to use those bus and auxiliary tracks um, for each of our patches, um, I will post a link above me. I will be creating a video also about that. So hopefully I will be seeing you very soon. This is Mitch. Peace out.